Okay, that downs her for some reason, but I still don't actually know why, because she's not uh, already crowed. So I'm assuming hits when they're injured can down. So maybe it's worth M1ing them and then... Uh, going for crows. Like M1 them first. Saw a bird over there then. Okay. Doesn't hit, okay, sure. Point blank, but apparently I missed. Yeah, she's injured, but she doesn't go down. Makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, they can do that as well. So they've got the option as well. I remember this as well. So they can jump in lockers to instantly remove your power. That's not been removed either. Wonder why? Survivors, innit? Straight into a locker. Fucking game design, mate. Imagine if we knew how to do it. At least we caught the one that was literally doing gameplay ag uh, abuse against the killer though. Just jumping in lockers because that's something you can do. I mean it's not even down to him, like it's nothing against him, he's just literally using something that's fucking bullshit in this game. That shouldn't exist. Creepy bird lady, take one. Did not actually know it was on this side, I thought it was over there. Okay. That crow failed, uh, faded just as I was gonna use it. I seem to remember with this killer, there was a very weird way to use her where you'd put one down and then wait. But you have to sort of wait. the survivor has to run in a straight line to actually get the power off on this killer. There we go. Because I don't think hitting them with uh, birds actually does anything. Because they can repel it in the time that it takes your power to come back. Yeah, see, it's gone. Because I love a design, but I seem to remember being one of those killers, similar to Hooks actually, where a base design is just very unnecessarily contrived and just pointless to use. Or similar to Hillbilly, I should say, where unless you master her, she's literally useless because she doesn't really have a power until you master said power. There's two people. Just straight into the basement anyway. Should we show you what offensive DS looks like? The one next to it. Watch this. What? Must have been deception then maybe. Just something behavior said they were going to remove, but haven't removed because it's a survivor thing. Did not see that ace move though. Yeah, so the power. As long as they start repelling straight away, you never get injured with this power unless you position it in a certain way. I seem to remember it being like that. 
So if I put that there, well then we've got it now anyway, so it doesn't really mean anything. This is what I mean. Like, I remember it being really weird. Yeah, so she has to stay in that straight line to get a ninja. Like, I really don't get it. So we get that, she starts repelling. Oh, hang on, why is it coming back quicker now? There you go, we get that. I don't know why it's coming back quicker though. Maybe you just have to put one down. And do it that way. That's a rush. Yeah. yeah, so it comes back faster then, when you only use one. That doesn't do anything now, does it? That stayed. It basically forces you to get a correct predict, like that, so it comes back quick enough so they don't repel. If you use all three, the power's literally useless. And I've done it right there, so we don't get anything for that. That's a rush though, yep. Do you get the down? Again, now I've got no power though, so we can't do two. We can't have uh, power and pressure. Still a similar situation to most killers. So if you do get a down like that, when you spread it to two, it actually locks you out of the power, so you can't do anything more than that. So... It's a bit of a shame, as I say, she doesn't, um, they seem to have removed skill expression from her as well. So even using two actually, yeah even using two you can't, you have to use one. So even if I get successful predicts like that, I'm not rewarded for it. So we get that. You've repelled it in time, so I have to make a pinpoint read. Just go for the M1, you know? Spoke about it before, other people I've known as well on this. The thing is the, the skill expression difference between uh, killer and survivor in this game is fucking massive.
Oh, they can do that as well. So they've got the option as well. I remember this as well. So they can jump in lockers to instantly remove your power. That's not been removed either. Wonder why? Survivors, innit? Straight into a locker. Fucking game design, mate. Imagine if we knew how to do it. There's four into no way out. I've also started trying to do uh, late game perks now as well, stuff like no way, no way out, remember me, because gen speeds are a fucking joke. Oh, there's one. What the fuck happened with him? I don't get anything for that now, though. Yeah. One's vanished again. I'm assuming it's deception. Removes his scratch marks. Too late, didn't know where she was. No. Do get no way out there, though. Might be able to do something with this. He's injured, so we'll go for him. Alec was on the other side. Might still be a four man escape because I have to massively outsize the IQ of my opponents. do still have no way out, so we might be able to get a scan, read, usually wait, buy it. Could move to the one over here as well. Prevent the four percent, uh, the for the people buckle up potential. There's still the heather that could. That's something that also hasn't been touched on survivor side. Basement's not over here. That's a free escape hook. We'll put her on this one. I oh, know she left. At least we caught the one that was literally doing gameplay ag uh, abuse against the killer though. Just jumping in lockers because that's something you can do. I mean it's not even down to him, like it's nothing against him, he's just literally using something that's fucking bullshit in this game. That shouldn't exist. Because as I say, I have to massively outplay my opponent anyway, as killer, in most games these days. Well, there you go. Build diverse. Yeah, there you go. Oof, I'm at home. Sweet.
Oh, that's me adjusting the posture. Uh, so after the absolute train wreck of yesterday's just gameplay in general for Killer, um, we begin anew, you know? Okay, we'll see what happens. We're still learning this Killer, so we'll have to see. Survivors have built-in light-footed here, though, so... Did he jump in a locker? Don't get anything for that now. Should have gone for the M1 now. We'll just go for. Sable. It was dramaturgy. We can probably shut down Shaq quite a bit, I believe, with this killer. Yeah, they're moving away. Can't hear anything, so, as I say, not going to be able to mine game properly. There she is. There, and one killer move speeds. Okay, that downs her for some reason, but I still don't actually know why, because she's not uh, already crowed. So I'm assuming hits when they're injured can down. So maybe it's worth M1ing them and then uh, going for crows. Like M1 them first. Aura just vanishes. Don't understand why that happens either. Saw a bird over there then. Okay. That doesn't hit. Okay, sure. Point blank, but apparently I missed. Upstairs, there's no verticality in this game, so I can't actually get her. Let's run the other way, yeah. Uh, pointless. I'm gonna try it with this ace. We M1 him first. And I'll try and hit him with some crows. I'm not going to need to either. Auras vanish again. She's just going to run upstairs because it completely cancels my power. It's lithe. Yeah, she's injured but she doesn't go down. Makes no sense whatsoever. Repelled it just in time because I need to do it with pinpoint accuracy. Spoke about that before. IQ difference. We get a scourge, but we probably lose a gen for going this far. Too shy. Uh, 
There's the speed boost. What the fuck happened there? Whoa, okay. Wait, it will go for him. Go for the quick detach. There's no point running around the building anyway, it's completely safe. This guy seems to be quite chill though. Straight between. Don't get anything for that now. I've already scared this guy, so I'll just stick him on this one. Kick that was belly in there. It was that one, wasn't it? There is two gens at the moment, uh, which are about to be done, so we're actually at one gen. I think we're just going to have to tunnel the ace out. Could be three gens actually that are about to be done. Why can't I use my power? Fuck. Injured, didn't go down. Scares this idea. Hit me off. It was that one that was done before, wasn't it? I'm gonna have to now, I'm at two gens. Don't know where the Ada went. Right, that's him. Uh, yeah, so we're actually at no gens at the moment. Run into Shaq. We need to get Lisa off here. This is lost. Good. Pallet's wasted. Physically impossible to defend this one now though. Or any of them. They've made it so you can't defend gens in the end game. Is the Ada? I got my power though. We lose that last gen now though, we just have to commit to one kill, it's all I can do is the power roll. They've made, as I say, they've made it so you can't defend gens. The development team for this game seems to be just hell bent on taking all power away from the supposed power roll. 3, 2, 1. They're on that one now as well, so they'll be split pushing it. I 
I'm soon going to be told that I can't damage that generator anymore as well. No, there you go. You can just do that one as well. Physically impossible. Hand holding to the extreme. I don't stop that. Physically impossible as well. Gate speeds. There's no way for me to get over there. Yeah, no counterplay. Don't teabag. The game's literally babysitting you. Fucking hell. Imagine these people playing Evolve. Christ. She's out for free from there. Watch. Show you. These run right through me. I'm assuming she's still here. She could pass me already. As I say, I can't hear her. No, she is there. But yeah, it's free anyway. Even if I hit her, there's no counterplay to it. There you go. Because as I say, the, the developers are sort of like just designing the game to strip all depth and gameplay out of it. So that it just babysits survivors to the very end. They're removing the ability to defend gens in the end game like that. They're removing all kinds of different ways to express skill against um, killers as well. So in that particular instance, there's nothing I could do about it. As I say, if I kept, damage that, uh, if I kept damaging that generator whilst I'm trying to defend it, uh, the game will literally lock me out of damaging it. So there's no point. And even then, as you saw, they can just split push. So I'm also on a map where I can't hear anybody. Well, there you go. Power roll. Apparently, according to uh, behaviour. <laughs> See you on next one.